Hi everyone, this is Paul from the Outdoor Adventure here with another Saturday Survival Tip. Again, we're going to be looking at how to find north. But to do that, we're going to use a completely different method. Now this way is using a watch to help you find north. Now many people will say, hey, you can't do this unless you find an analog watch, one of those watches with hands on it. But actually, I find it much easier to do it with a digital watch, and I'll explain why. Now, the typical trick is this. You need to find out what time it is, and what you do is you take what time it is, and you point your watch, the hour hand of the watch, at the sun. So you aim it up and find the sun. And then halfway between the, the, the hour hand and 12 o'clock, you draw a line, and that'll get you to your north, the true north. Now the problem with this, of course, one of the biggest ones in the Pacific Northwest, at least, and in, in North America, is daylight savings. As soon as you put daylight savings into it, you set things off, and you've actually got to subtract an hour from what time it is. So if it's 12 o'clock, you've got to change your watch to 11 o'clock. Um, if it's 11.30, you've got to change it to 10.30, and so, and so on. So what we're going to do then is we're going to show you how we can use a digital watch to do that. All you need is something like a piece of bark, something to write with. What we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing a circle on our piece of bark. And this circle is going to represent your analog watch. Alright, is it a perfect circle? No. You get the general idea? Alright, so we've got our circle, which is going to be our watch, and we're going to make the mark in the middle and that's going to be the points and we're going to draw ourselves an analog watch now the benefit of doing it this way is again you can do the math in your head right now it's 12:20. all right so what we can do is we can uh, remember doing the math if it's daylight savings because it's summertime in the pacific northwest and in, the, in north america all right so it's actually going to be 11:20. so just do your marks for the quarters this is nine divide that into three so we're looking for 11.20. So there we have 20 right here. All right, we've driven, drawn our 20. And it says 12.20, so we want to find 11.20. And that's going to be about a third of the way past our 11. And now you can draw your line as long as you want. And that's the one we're looking for. We're looking for the hour hand right now. So we've drawn the hour hand where we would be at about 11.20. All right, and that's going to be our line and we know where 12 is. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna line up that hour hand with the sun. All right, well, the sun's just about overhead so it makes it a bit of a challenge. And now I'm gonna draw a line halfway between that and 12. All right, so that line that we've just drawn, which is between what time it is and 12 o'clock, is going to tell us where south is. So right over there is south. So of course, north, 180 degree degrees the opposite direction. That's north right over there. Now we know where north is, now we know where south is, and we can take a, a, a point of reference and head in that direction in a straight line for north, or find ourselves where we know we need to go and go from there. Leave a comment down below, leave a video response, we'd love to see you trying this or telling us about other ways that you found north. Tell us what you have uh, experienced, if you've ever been lost, and more importantly, get out, have a good time this summer with your family, Try this, share it, have fun with it, and uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy this beautiful summer that we have.